Smart listeners, do you want to advertise your business to young go-getters like yourself? Would you like to create business leads over and over without the stress of manual advertising? It's easy. Call 858-848-6186. Advertise your business on the airways with the LUTG radio show. 858-848-6186. There's brand new listeners daily, and this ad is sponsored by LUTGradio.com. That number again is 858-848-6186. And by the way, you're listening, aren't you? Y'all heard what the man said. This is LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting. I am Kathy Brox, and this is the LUTG Radio Show. Amen, amen, amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for this day. I thank you, Father God, for waking me up this morning and uh, for being a blessing in my life. Thank you, Lord God, for giving me words of worship. And even in my pain and troubles and sorrows and joy, you give me a desire to come to you and tell you all about it. Good or bad, I'm all up at, I'm all up in your ear. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for keeping your desire in me. Because you said that you would never leave nor forsake me. And this prayer is not about me, but it's about me and you, you and me. I thank you, Lord God, for giving me a desire to come to you. Because so many times I thought about you, but I didn't come. I wanted you, but I was like, nah. What would he want with somebody like me? So just like, come right here. I want you. I want you. I want you. Come to me. Come right here. I'm going to stand right here. This path leads straight to me. Come to me. I want you. And I can tell you in the instant that you said that to me, oh my goodness. It was like all the music, all the romantic music in the world just stopped and all you could hear was, hallelujah, you found the one that loves you, hallelujah. It was dead silence, I shouldn't say dead silence, it was live silence in his words. Because his words rang true. I mean, you could try and put some kind of worldly symbolism to it, but when you get down to it, when God says, come to me, I want you. You're like, <laughs> for real though. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He didn't even smile. He just said, in all seriousness, come. This path leads to me. Come. Before he had told me, hey, Kathy, you know you got one foot in and one foot out. Look how short that fence is, and yet you can't even get out. Hey, Kathy, you realize where you at? What what you doing? I say my name, but he didn't actually say my name because, well, you know, Kathy is not the actual name that he told them to name me. He said Catherine, and they said, well, she's too dumb. She would not be able to spell Catherine. We have to make it easy. He said, no, make it difficult now so that when she gets older, it's easy. I put a plan for her life, and I planned it by Catherine now. She has to adjust to the shortness of it. And thus far, the blessings have been short because they forgot the rin on my name. I hang over the rin. Because God said, I wanted to fill in the space, but they forgot the rim. They forgot to put on the covering. And here you go standing at the rim with feet like hands and claws. And you are just standing I put you on the road that leads to me, but you're so angry because all the darts and the fists and the punches are coming at you. And you know my name, but for some reason you won't call it out. He goes, I called you Catherine, but I know they named you Kathy. And see, my name has not changed. It's been one and the same from the beginning to the end. It is Jesus. Everything must bow at my name because there is power in my name will you call my name because you standing on the rim you about to fall in can do i have to save you again call my name i'm asking you if you would just please call my name because i'm standing right here and 
I constantly have to push you back off the ledge because you're not calling my name. You not calling my name. It's only a few letters, J E S U S. It's really five and all. Grace. Call my name. J E S U S. Jesus. Call my name. Some of y'all are in terror right now, and you are standing and wondering and biting your nails about these coronaviruses and the HIV AIDS and the syphilis and the broken this and the broken that and the shadows that seem to haunt you during the day and they look like little circles and they look like tall trees and they got red eyes and they got teeth that bite and they gnaw like a dog and you like uh and God is saying, if you will use a part of that breath to say Jesus, they would bow down because they know who I am. I am the apex, and I will knock them the freak out. Their power is by your fear because you gave up your freedom. The moment they said, boo, you said, whoo And I'm telling you, say boo back. Say Jesus, boo. Make them fall down. Make them crawl on their knees. Matter of fact, they even boring your knees. They ain't got no knees. They ain't got none. They fallen angels. They been in the fire so long, they all twisted up and they shape shift. They ain't got no knees. Them bones have been burned and twisted. Them bones have been completely molested. They are not the same thing that I made. They are fallen angels. They, They had a name when they went in that place, but when they came out, they were familiar spirits because they forgot who they were. They forgot the name Jesus because they refused to call on the name Jesus when they were human beings walking in the earth. So why do you persist in trying to find the 144 so you can molest and protest their faith in Jesus? You seek after them like a dog on a bone. You seek after them like a tree trying to find water. You seek after them like a root goes through the earth. You know. You keep seeking and seeking and seeking the power. But I keep telling you the power is me. Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, you know my name, but you seem to forget my name, and then you tell people to call you Lord, and you don't mean the little L, you mean the big L-O-R-D, capital, you keep telling you, yo, that's me, and people like, you sure you want to say that, man? You know how God gets. He swallowed up people. He opened up the ground and let them fall in just because they doubted him. And you going to say you him? Hold on. Let me get back, Jack. I can't hang in your presence. You are not exactly where I want to be. Because I think in a moment or two, you're going to be down there with Lucifer, him and you. Swirling around in all that grave. I wonder whose body's bigger, yours or his. I'm just saying, you keep trying to take what don't belong to you. And God is telling you, I provided so much for you. You want what your neighbor got. You want Johnny and Jill stacked, but you won't even take a moment to look at what I put before you. I bless you like Benjamin. I gave you five times as your brethren. But you keep snatching off of other people's plate and I keep going, wait, wait. Are you completely blind? Are you completely out of your mind? What is wrong with you? You keep saying that you believe in Jesus, but uh, every time somebody puts a challenge to you, you go, adri, 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 adri. Uh, uh, and they 
like, what kind of tongue is that? And your neighbor chimes up, uh, that's called the, I'm scared. And people keep saying, you know what, you got all that. You, you got money, you got fame, you got family, you got kids, you got a son to carry on your name. And I thought you had a God, man. I thought you said you were saved. I thought you said Jesus was the apex in your life. But every time you have trouble and strife, all I hear is ba da da ba ba da da da. It don't sound nothing like that when you yelling at your wife. You constantly beating her up and knocking her against the wall and tell her, girl, I'm your God. You call on my name or none at all. And God is like, yo, hold up, man. That's my daughter. That's my wife. How dare you beat her like that? How dare you give her that kind of strife? You know what? I have a mind to beat you like that. You know what? I have a mind to knock you. You but you can't handle that. I've heard the women crying. Lord God, if you would just hit them the way they hit me, then all would be right. I had to tell them. If I hit them, then they would be saying good night. But I got a plan to deliver you from all this. Call on my name and you'll be rid of this. Call on my name. Don't be ashamed. My name is Jesus, he says. He says, I'm with you morning, noon, and night. I'm with you every moment of the day. And I'll never ask you, are you getting ready to go play? Because I'm with you. I'm right there with you. I don't ever stop your joy or stop your fun. But then if you start getting over into that green, holy, messed up grass, then I pull you back over and say, yo, you don't want to go there. One more step. You know, something to do with your dairy. Yeah, and, you know, I got to keep you out of there because I want you to be blessed. Remember I told you, I want you to sow seeds. I want you to sow seeds into your life by sowing seeds into somebody else's life. But I want you to sow good seeds because I give good gifts. And if I give good gifts, that means that you got to give good gifts. So if I tell you to take that $100 you got and go sow it into this ministry because there's a lady that's going to come up in about an hour and say, Pastor, my kids ain't got no food, and they hungry, and I, I got to pay something on the lights to keep the lights on, because if I get, when I get some food, I ain't going to be able to cook if the lights ain't on because everything's electricity. I need $50 for the lights and $50 for some food, and I can make that stretch for a month, Pastor. If you would please help me. You see, if you don't go ahead and sow that $100, because that $100 ain't going to help you, you need a thousand dollars and that yeah that's only 10 percent. but if you take 10 percent of what you need and if you will sow it into this ministry this woman could eat her and her children and they can see there won't be no shadows in their house or i should say they'll have a light amen glory to god they don't have to worry about What's going bump and boo in the night because they can turn on a light and see everything's all right. You could bless these people if you would just believe I got your thousand dollars. She's looking the envelope right now. Just believe. So that seed. And some of y'all saying, well, you know what? That past is a joke. I can't stand that man. That woman is a trip. Talking all this stuff, getting all these airplanes and cars, BMW bins in every color, Mercedes, Lamborghini, a house on every coast. Got us in, uh, and how is that your business? 
I ask you to sow a seed. It don't matter what they got. You don't know how they got what they got. That ain't none of your biz. See, if they were a Gentile or a Jew, it still wouldn't be no business to you. God has a plan for your life and for theirs. And what they do with their plan, that's all theirs, man. You can't have what's theirs. Stop trying to dig and take off of their plate because every time you look at their plate, you get all jealous. The funny thing is, your plate is five times the size as theirs. But your jealousy is getting higher than the prophecy that is before you. And you got to stretch your neck because you're so jealous. Your jealousy just stood in front of your five portions of plate. And you can't even see that you got plenty of money to make. You so busy worried about them. You like, man, I can't even, I can't even. What's going on? I can't even. Man. <laughs> God is like, shut up, man. Shut up. Get your eyes off of them and put your eyes on me. So what, you lost your job and big deal. Whoopee. I ain't caring about that job. That was just a seed. He's like, I got fruit for you. You looking at seed. I got fruit for you. If you want another job, I'll get you a job. I'll pay you so well you think you got two. He's like, don't even worry about that. I got you. Okay, they did some things in that place. They did some things that was completely unholy. Yeah, they accused you. They hit you. They beat you. They touch your breasts. Yeah, they put their fingers in places. Man, you the only one that know that the best. And you're like, what the? Can I kill them now? He's like, if you do that, then I won't bless you. I can't bless you. I got some things for you to do, but if you constantly keep moving, and your own wisdom, I ain't going to be able to bless you because I'm going to be too busy bailing you out. But if you would just wait upon me, and in your waiting, wait in honor and worship and praise. Hallelujah, glory, glory. Lord God, you are the one that is worthy. Lord God, you are the praise. Oh, Father God, fill my mouth with good things, Lord God. You are worthy. My strength, my joy, my peace. Lord God, you have rescued me. I can't tell you how many times I get so tired of them doing these things. But Lord God, you keep me in your perfect peace. Ay, ay, ay. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. As the ladies say in the Baptist churches, Ashanda. In the Pentecostal churches, Arashante Fekema Prashande. I don't know what I said. Those are tongues. I'm just saying I hear them say that a lot. And they say it when they're so frustrated. They don't know what to do. So they stop talking on their own and they completely rely on you. They got on their big hats and their high heel shoes and they looking good. And even though they're crying up under their makeup, they're going, Lord God, I trust you. Whether they are Baptist or Pentecostal or non-denominational, those women got it going on. Because they're like, I'm trusting Jesus. He is the most high. Jehovah God, you don't never lie. I am trusting the Lord Almighty. Father God, I am so into you. I'm so into you. I want to shout like Shambok. Oh, Lord God. I want to be right there with you. I want to worship you so much and praise you so hard that you go, hold up, y'all. Let me see what my baby doing. Hey. Well, all right, all right. Holy, holy, holy. Amen, amen, amen. The angels come around 
and they singing in unison. Oh, yeah, that's how we do. We give God all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. For he is the power, he is the source, and how he opened up his side and let me look right in. Glory is filled all up in him. It has no end. He is glory. And I, do I get upset sometimes when people come and tell me, he ain't alive, Jesus died. He ran away. You know, them Pharisees came looking for him. And I laughed because they got it written across their chest on their brand new T-shirt. Jesus is dead. He ran away. And I laugh. I go, ha, ha, ha. You get power on your chest. I don't care if you put a cross across it because when you turn that cross the other way, it's actually the cross of Christ. And you got his name written all over you. So you can keep on denying him. And at first I looked and I was like, oh, man, you, I want to, ooh. You keep defying God. I wanted to. And God reminded me, hold up, they got my name on their chest. Go ahead and laugh. Aha, 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 aha. They got my name on their chest. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I couldn't help but to laugh because he was right. They got his name on their chest. And we know that his name is not only a seed planter, but it's the harvest reaper. So I said, congratulations, and welcome to the family of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ain't he nice? <laughs> God would even love those that hate him. So if he'll do it, um, what about you? What about me? So many times we like, man, you don't love me, I don't love you. That's just the way it's going to be. And Jesus is like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 we ain't doing that. I want you to love me, your God, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. I want you to love your neighbor as you love yourself. I want you to love your brothers, your brothers and sisters in Christ as Jesus loves the church. These are the things I want you to do, and there's no higher things in this because it comes from me. This is what he said, that I'm like, for real straight love them like i do me you mean if i go get me a soda i gotta get them a soda too man dude i barely know you he's like hold on hold on hold on didn't i get on the cross for you and them didn't i get those nails hammered into my hand the right and the left didn't both of my feet get holes in them? Didn't my my ribs get a get a stick pressed through it, and the blood fell on all? Hold on, hold on. Didn't I get thirty nine lashes across my back with a cat of nine tails for all y'all, including the ones that wasn't even born? That would be you. And you griping over a soda, a sandwich? So you saying that you would rather eat in front of somebody that is hungry or drink in front of somebody that is thirsty rather than to bless them the way you bless yourself? Imagine if I was that selfish to you. Yo, pops, hey, you know what? I changed my mind because in 2009, so-and-so is going to be like, I ain't giving you no soda. I ain't giving you no sandwich. I'm going to eat it all myself and burp in your face. And Pop's like, you know what? Hey, if he going to be that way, she going to be that way, then bam, we out of here. We ain't got to be fam. We good. This is 2020 right now. We going, what? God paid the price for me so I can drink and eat. No matter what coronavirus is trying to spread up in here, God is like, get out of here. See, my blood paid the price. 
Amen. So you could always be nice. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Healthy and strong in your mind and in your body. They call you this and they call you that, but one thing they got to call you is healthy. No matter if you black. He's like, I love you white. I love you black. I love you brown. I love you all around. He's like, I don't care if you're a male or a female. You mine. My breath is in you. You can say you are X, you are Y, you are Z, you are L, you are B, you are G, you are T, you are A, you are I, you are O. You questioning all this stuff. He says, but wait a second. I made you. I made you male and female. I ain't do no more. See, what I made is good. And what you're struggling with is your mind. You're struggling with those spirits that are coming to you and telling you, yo, man, don't you think you dig women all the time? But hey, check out that dude over there. You know what? He ain't that square. Why don't you try both of them? And you like, what? See, oh, you's a homophobe because, you know, you don't want to try both sexes. And I'm just saying, it's pleasure, it's pleasure. Meat is meat. You know, man, let's go eat. Get this Greek. You know, you know how you do. You a man. You know what a man wants. You know how to give it to him, you know. So he can be like, oh, girl, you know what she digging? You know how she like to be kissed. She just like you. You know what she miss. Go ahead, girl. Do that thing to her. Yo, do it, do it, do it. You know. And God is saying, those are spirits that are telling you to do it. I'm telling you to trust me. I'm telling you I got you. I'm telling you I understand the feelings that you're going through. I'm telling you, just because you feel that way, that don't mean that I'm going to throw you away. I'm telling you I love you. I don't want you to try and change a thing. I want you to come to me just as you are. I want you just as you are. Please, please, please. Don't change a thing. Don't try and fix it up. Don't try and erase your past off the internet. He's like, I want you to come to me just as you are. With every tattoo and every scar, I want you to come to me. With every hurt and every pain, I want you to come to me because I'm going to heal the brokenhearted and bind up your wounds. I'm going to make you brand new. I'm going to make it so that when you see that pain again, you won't even feel it. You'll be like, I remember that. Now let me spill it because my testimony can be your meditation. God brought me through. Oh, my goodness. It was a great revelation. I am happy and I am joyous. Oh, my goodness. Lord, I dig lawyers. I dig lawyers. I like the doctor or two. They can be kind of freaky, don't you know? Because they got that skin right up against that skin, and they can just do sometimes what they think they want to because, well, it gets thrown at them like chum for, you know. <laughs> sometimes they feel like they're pigs in a trough. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. But sometimes you wonder, dude, are you really into me the way you proclaim to? Because he's going, girl, what is it that you like about me? Is it my money? Is, my, is it my swagger? You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, this tall, but my thing is like all the way down to my toes. Ho! All the girls be like, what? But they can't handle this. I try to do the two, but you know, I got tired of smelling that bacteria. And so now I'm just chilling in the cut, doing my thing by the spirit. You know what? I'm slinging this thing. And guess what? Men have been doing this for centuries. For centuries. Actually, it comes probably maybe at my knees, but okay, okay, okay. A little bit in between, but just understand this. I love you. 
more than I can believe. I'm so ashamed that I was ashamed of you and I'm so much in pain that I need you and I want you and I, I don't know what to do because so many people are hating on you and they hating on me and they they think that I should be with this person and that person and so many things I can't believe and there's so many spirits that are trying to speak through me and speak for me and I don't know what to do because all I want to do is speak to you. I just want to speak to you. I want to hold you in my arms. I want to caress you. I want to kiss you. I want to love you. I want to buy you everything you can ever think of because you know what? I'm so blessed you can't even break me. I am like Jesse the Planners, like you prayed. I am richer than Solomon. I am blessed, more blessed than David. I, I, I am. I am a believer and I am. And I do understand some of the things that are going on in the spirit. Matter of fact, I understand a little bit more than the average Joe. I'm just saying some people call me Illuminati, but I was like, I'm not that naughty. I'm just trying to understand everybody. I want so much love. I keep giving love to everybody. I keep trying to cover so many people because there's so many people that are hurting and wanting and they got all these HIV and AIDS and all these things that are haunting them and I just want to give them some pleasure. I have to psych myself out and say, oh, I think I love you. But I know they just want something that feels like flesh. They want to keep on wanting me but they don't want to be solo with me. They want me and they want him and they want her and they want this one and that one. And they want to have orgies every night. And he's like, girl, I just want an orgy between me and you. I want it all right. I want to kiss your lips. I want to feel your face. I don't care that your hair is short. He's like, I don't even care. I just want you. I want you every night. We both have parents at home and I don't know what to do because, you know, they all know how to look in. And I'm like, I just want some privacy with you. I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to keep on staying in faith and I hope you stay too because sometimes my publicist got to lie and say that I'm with two and three. I'm with him and her and, you know, you got to do the popular thing. On social media, people are saying that, oh, how they would love to bust me in. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, really? I think you need a friend. I think you need a friend because check this out. I'll be about that J-E-S-U-S and he's the one I know best. And he ain't trying to bust me in or bust me out. He's like, yo, stand up and praise me. Lift your hands up to me. I'm going to love you. I'm not going to defile you. You know, man, I think you need that too. Gene once told me, girl, the Holy Spirit will make sweet love to you. I was like, boy, stop playing. I ain't trying to have sex with you. He's like, no, for real though. Ask him. You ain't got to masturbate or none. Lay down in your bed, be all quiet and still, and go, Holy Spirit, make sweet love to me. And just sit there and wait. And before you know it, he'll be all up over you, blessing you and loving you and prophesying to you. I was like, yo, wait a minute. You mean you won't even feel like you're having sex? He goes, it ain't going to feel like sex. It's going to be better than sex. Better than sex. I was like, what's better than sex? He goes, the Holy Spirit. What? The Holy Spirit is better than sex? How come somebody didn't tell me this a long time ago? Dude, I would still be a virgin, even though I only left that area a short time ago. But I'm just saying, I'd still be a virgin had somebody told me that I can get better sex from the Holy Spirit than I can from a man. Oh, my goodness. What? The Holy Spirit. Hey, I think I can be about that. Because he can pleasure me better than a man? What? Yo, man, what happens when you get married? He goes, check this out. The Holy Spirit blesses your life because you now become a wife. And he's like, 
I'm gonna make this sex so good that you be like, ay, ay, ay. You'll never think about going to get another because I'm gonna make sure that you and your husband are lovers. That means don't be putting him down. Build him up. That means don't be yelling at her and thinking that she's just a sex putt. You got to love her and caress her and talk to her and whisper in her ear and take her on a date. You got to love her and call her in the middle of the day and say, yo, babe, I just want to tell you I love you. Leave her a note on her car and say, hey, you be safe. Don't be speeding. I love you. Leave a note in his briefcase on his pocket. I'm thinking of you every time you touch the inside of your your pocket, every time you touch your thigh. Think of me. I'm on the right and the left. Oh, my goodness. I love you. Every time you think of me, every time you touch any part of you, think of me. I love you. I am standing right here with you. You need some encouragement. Hear this and hear this every time. I got your back. I'm with you no matter what. I'm not trying to ride to die. I'm riding to live and I will bless you and lift you up. And know this, that I've already prayed for you. True enough, my name is Kathy and it should have been Catherine. But see, in the Kathy, I've been tempered. I've been through some things that, well, I probably shouldn't have been through. But right now I'm shining like a diamond because I've been through. And I know that it is good to lift you. I'll never pray that, baby, I will hold your junk so that you can pee when you get old and feeble. I say, no, baby, you will not get old and feeble. You are my man. You are strong. You will stand tall all the days of your life. God gave you 120 years, and you know what? We're going to go through this without strife. Me and you, you will pee with thunder and poop with ease. I know that is embarrassing to hear, but that there is strength. So I want you to hear that, and I want you to say it to yourself because when I look at you, I see pure virility. You like for me to call you sexy, even though I call you cute. You like for me to call you all kinds of nasty things. But I can't help but to see your beauty, so I call you beautiful. You are absolutely my blessing. I tell you what, I would not trade you for a thing. I love you just the way you are. And I know sometimes it may seem like I want a lot of bling bling, but you just don't get it, I don't think, because you are the most shiniest thing I could ever want. Even in your scruffy, scruffy and your t-shirts that look like they have grease around the collar. I love you just the way you are. I wouldn't change a thing. God made you to be a sound mind and sound body. And that's what I say about you every single day. I pray for, pray for myself and I pray for you. Me and Jesus and you. That's, that's the thing for me. So I say this thing, and I say this, and it's been almost 40 minutes. You may get upset because I said this, and I didn't mention your name, and I didn't mention your name because you'd be like, girl, I'm trying to cover you. I'm trying to cover you. I'm like, go ahead, boy. Do your covering. Hey, I like that. I would like a ring ring or two, but I know how you like to do. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. You're listening to LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting. My name is Kathy Brox, and this is what God had to say today. Peace.